He, um, he came to us newly calling himself Leslie. He uh, was trapper and before this in, in Colorado, he was skinning roadkill and preparing the meat and selling it. He was a disc jockey as well. Uh, he uh, started wearing the, the women's clothes in Colorado and, and I, in the breast and, and came here. Uh, with that on this trike, a uh, three-wheeled bicycle that he rode, uh, took a year for him to get here. And so we heard some of the stories about his travels as Leslie down the road on a tricycle. And uh, as I like to talk about, he passing through Abilene, he, he remarked how how they were very nice to them in Abilene, to him in Abilene when they met him at the town's edge and <laughs> with a motorcade and escorted him all the way to the other side. <laughs> so he thought that was, um, you know, very nice of them to escort him. Of course, they just wanted to see him get out as quickly as possible. <laughs> we will definitely have a citywide event to honor him, celebrate him, and uh, give proper respect, Leslie style. I think a couple of things that people had said uh, in the last few days, uh, that Leslie was the effervescence of Austin. I love that. He's just, <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, and that Leslie gave us permission to be weird. And I also think that was a very beautiful quote. Um, Leslie's a lot of things to us. And uh, Austin was very meaningful for him. I, I Also last night, a friend remarked that if it weren't for Austin, he probably wouldn't have lived this long. I don't know that he could have done that Leslie thing many other places. So, you know, he's grateful to us, and, and I think even more so we, are, we should be grateful to him for all that he's given us.